How to use a jigsaw. No, not a jigsaw puzzle, but a jigsaw. Knowing how to use a jigsaw is very important, especially when you're trying to cut wood that you can't cut with a table saw, a wire saw, or a hand saw. Let's get started, shall we? First things first, you must have the proper clothing. You, so no flowy shirts or scarves. Or jewelry. Next, you will need proper eye protection via goggles, sunglasses, or regular glasses. However, gloves are never to be used. Headphones or earmuffs could be used but are not required. Obviously, to use a jigsaw, you need power. The jigsaw we have has a wire and needs to be plugged in. Some jigsaws are like this, but others have batteries. They can be used and recharged when needed. To start your work, you need a piece of wood. Really? And a horse. No, not that kind of horse. Kind of horse. If you don't have access to a horse, any sturdy table would work too. Once you find your work surface, you'll need to clamp your work down. If you don't have any clamps, be sure to hold it, hold it in place or have someone help you out. Before you start using your jigsaw, be sure to sketch out your work. Measure twice, cut once. Okay, let's stop. Be sure to hold the wire out of, of the jigsaw's way to, of your blade. The last thing you want is a broken cord. To start the jigsaw, pull the trigger. Some jigsaws have different speeds depending on how hard you press it, but the jigsaw we are using has, a, has an interchangeable knob at the back. It's always better to start slow and get faster as you go. To start cutting your wood, start the saw before touching the wood and slowly make your way to the line you have to cut. As you cut your wood, it is important not to push the saw, just let it work. In addition to that, move slowly. Cutting wood is not a contest. The slower you go, the less standing you will have to do later. While you're cutting, it is very important to not push your hands anywhere near the jigsaw blade. Danielle, she put her hands under the jigsaw and cut off her fingers. It didn't hurt that bad. I don't know why they're asymmetrical though. Anyways. As you're cutting out what you sketched earlier, be sure to slow down what you are doing as you're cutting along the curve. Also, make sure you cut outside of the curve. If you happen to... To remove your jigsaw from the piece of wood that you're cutting, simply pull the trigger and pull up. Thank you for joining us on our journey through jigsawing. We really hope that this instructional video helped you along your jigsawing journey. If you have any questions, feel free to ask an adult or someone who knows how to use the jigsaw and how to be safe. This video was written and produced by Mia Chimagua and Rachel Malinu with the help of viewers like you. Thank you for watching and have fun on whatever jigsawing journeys you may encounter.